It's been two years since I've done how to be basic work bag edition and it has been requested often. I think because a lot of people assume that things change. It is true, things do change and I've actually cut down a lot. So it is time to do another edition of how to be basic work bag. How to be basic is all about being able to simplify it down to what you essentially need in your life. And I talk about it in different areas. So. It's supposed to be ironic, but at the same time, um, help you focus on the things that you need. But enough babbling, let's get to it. This is my basic bag, my work bag. I have not changed my work bag. This is the fourth year and running of this Mansur Gabrielle bag, third or fourth fourth year. I've had this for four years. I started as a part-time teacher and this was a gift to myself and then eventually I kept using it. So it has it has its wear and tear moments. I always talk about investing in a good quality bag so you don't need to keep changing and you also cut down on your carbon footprint. The less you own, the better and also the less you go through the cycle of changing, the better for the planet. And we are all about that nowadays, aren't we? It's important. So this is the Mansur Gabrielle tote bag and it comes in black and red interiors. Llama, I think it's flama, that's what it's called. It's fancy like that. We're gonna go in with what is inside. I guess this is also in line with a pandemic. So work bag pandemic version. So right now hanging outside, although it does cause marks, which I should stop doing. This is like a, a little, I don't even know what it's called. I got this from Wander Sky and basically I bring this around because I use the elevator to go upstairs because I am that lazy. Guess how many flights of stairs I have to walk? one level. I still take the elevator. But there, there's a reason why, because by the elevator, it's really close to my door. So that's why I take the elevator. I use this to press any button, open any doors, and it. I also avoid getting any dirt on my hands. I've always hated it. Before I used to use my sleeves to open the door, but now I use this because I have upgraded in life. But I also was given this. This is from Wander Sky, and it's a little bit harder to open doors if you're trying to pull it because it hurts a bit. There should be more cushion, but this is good enough. This will do. And I put it outside because I don't want the bacteria to go into my bag. So I leave it outside, let it hang, and also I spray it after I am done. The second thing in my bag is an iPad. So I actually have changed iPads because we gotta keep up with technology. So my iPad Pro is super handy for work. For those of you who don't know, I am a full-time graphic design, photography, and art teacher. This one I use as a second screen. I also use this to draw any sketches. That is the iPad Pro. The next thing inside this bag is my planner. Actually, before I had a different planner, but now I use the Everyday Planner, which is something that we have created out at the Everyday. And this is the carbon color. We have eight different colors. And of course I use carbon because I want everything to match. My soul is black, so. And inside I have a pen. This one is Xiaomi and I bring this along and I only use one pen because my philosophy is you don't need a billion pens to write things down. Get straight to the point, use one. And you'll know when you lose it because you only had one. In my old video, I had a small pouch for um, my pens, but somebody stole it from me. I think they just watched the video and then one day I went through my bag and it was gone. Just like that. I'm serious. There are many weird moments too. Side tracking. One of my students was asking me for a charger and I was really lazy and I didn't want to lend it to her. And she watched my video at that time and she said, Miss Wong, you actually have a charger. I watched your how to be basic work bag edition. So give me my charger. And I'm like, what? Oh my gosh, fine. So I gave it to her, but that's creepy, right? Anyways, back to the story. Just to lightly discuss it, um, you, I track down, I write my day-to-day -day musings and then also things that I need to achieve. There are just, there's a to-do list, there's also a monthly budget aspect, and I just put it in here because I just don't have a case for it and I wanna protect it and it's white. Next, uh, my wallet has changed only because the other one that I had, I actually spilled some oil on it and it took some time to dry and so I just used my mom's, this is hers, but I've just never changed it after. So this is a Chanel wallet and yeah, I put my 
cards in here. I have my Kizash, but I rarely hold any cash at this point because I use apps now and I use that to send money. It's just a lot easier. And I think a lot of people should transition to that. So that is my Chanel purse. The next thing I have in here is my makeup bag. And it's the same one from my original How To Be Basic video. And um, I hold a couple of things in there. I have cut down a bit more. So in here, I have my glasses. This is just a regular bag that I received from one of my sunglasses. I like it because it's black. Then I have my glasses. This one I wear all most of the time. So I just bring this because I have, there's a wiper in here and I need to clean my glasses because it gets dirty easily. This one is from Moscot and I just like the clear framed look. So that's why I got it. And this is what it looks like. It's just a little bit dirty. These things happen, right? And then, Inside this, I have a small brush. It's the same brush that I've had from before, the Akakapa one. This is from the same brand, but I used it in the first video and I just changed it because, again, somebody stole my brush. But that's also because um, I leave my bag open and I mean, it is open. Yeah, somebody took it. And inside, I have two other hair ties that I use just in case I need it for something serious, like, I need to get to work. Okay, time to tie your hair. You know like in um, Series of Unfortunate Events when that girl, Violet Baudelaire, starts thinking she ties her hair in a ribbon? That's how I like to feel, but not really. Then the next thing I have in here is my eyeliner. This is a great eyeliner. This is the roller liner. It is the darkest of dark and it stays on for a really long time. This is by Benefit and I use this and it has replaced my Stila eyeliner. It just lasts for a long time. I've had this for a year already and I use my eyeliner almost every day minus the pandemic time. It is still in good condition. Then the next one is, is the Fenty Beauty eyebrow pencil. This is, I guess, dual. It has a brush and then it also has the pencil. And I like this because it applies your brows smoothly and nice and I just reapply it if I need to because I don't have brows. Brows do not exist in my face. So I have to draw it on. Then the next thing I have is the Dior Lip Glow Oil. I love this. It's especially the doeful. It's so nice. Feels soft and um, nice. I just repeated myself, but that's it. And then I use a lip balm. I just got a new one from Bobbi Brown, but I finished about three of these already. And this is the Bear Punch. And I use this a couple of times. It's good, it keeps you hydrated and that's it. Those are the things that are in my makeup pouch. I don't believe in reapplying makeup only because I feel like there are a lot of products out there that help your makeup stay for a long time. And I also don't believe it on applying makeup on top of dirt. It's just not my thing. That's my makeup pouch. I don't bring any chargers anymore because these ones last for a long time and I just charge it at night and I could use it for about six hours if I wanted to and it will last for a very long time. And then what else is in here? I have this mask pouch now because we do need to wear a mask when we go out. I just think that people should wear your mask. I mean, it's a safety precaution. Actually in Chinese culture, in Taiwan, we've been wearing masks since forever. I just think that just wear your masks for the safety of society. Like it's not going to absolutely prevent it, but it's to help alleviate and make things a lot easier. So those people that are complaining about it, just do your part, okay? Wear your masks. And this one is great because when you're not using it, you can just put it inside and then there's a seal that closes it really shut. And I got this from Wonder Sky also and it works really well. So you can hold on to it and it will not get dirty. And then I guess I have my other electronics that I have in here. This is um, the iPad pencil, which I can just use a magnet to attach on top. There's a magnet that attaches on top to this. It's a magic pencil. And then this is my AirPods. Two years ago, I had the Bose earphones, which still had wires. I actually don't really like wires, so now I have the AirPods. I've had this for a while now, and um, it's good. Charged for a long time. I have it protected with a Totoro cover 
case. And as you can see, I'm obsessed with Totoro. In my other video, I can show you. And I don't need to worry about wires. And if I drop it, oh, not dropping. Did I drop it? Nope, I didn't. I did the same joke in my other video. Oh, oh no, I dropped it. Guess not because there's a ring on it. Next thing that I have in here is my ID along with my keys and my lanyard. This room is from Pio Pio. I actually got this from a, a chocolate pub crawl and I like how it uses excess fabric. It's nice and colorful. I'm getting more colorful now. Color, color, and then still black. I'm getting a little bit more comfortable using other colors. So last but not least is my phone. This is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And I got this cover from Lazada and it has like a little window that opens up for the camera because I don't want the government to be watching me. Just kidding, I really don't care. Like a lot of people ask me like, oh, you know, the government's watching you, etc. And I'm like, well, I don't think I'm that important enough for them to watch me. Maybe they'll get my algorithms for my shopping to, you know, make me a better target, but I don't know if they really care about watching what I do. I mean, if they do, it's gonna be pretty boring. I'm just sitting on my computer and that's it. One of the things I actually do splurge on is my phone. I update it anytime there's something new, something that I don't mind spending on because I actually use it every single day. It serves a purpose. It's not something I want to save on. It's just something that I'm willing to my money in because I know that I use it every day. It even tells me how long I use my phone for. I'm not gonna reveal that. That's pretty much what's in my bag, guys. I mean, I have cut down. I used to bring chargers and a lot of other other pouches, but I've really cut down. It's a lot lighter. It's better for my back. I am really trying to work on my posture. It has been an incredibly long journey. Hopefully with more consistent training, I'll get a lot better, but this is what's in my bag. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see you in two years.